Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargamer Dragon video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you part 20 of the second Korean War campaign and today we have quite a few battles on our hands. So first of all we have this naval battle over here however I don't believe this is going to occur until the next turn because the escort Vatellas here and the Bellow Wood can't get involved um, because they don't have enough initi initiative so that's going to have to wait. I'm not going to go at them with just my ships in the USS Enterprise. That seems like a very bad idea. Um, although we might be able to pull it off since we do have a lot of um, aircraft with anti-ship missiles. But yeah, we're going to leave that for now. Instead, what we're going to be looking at is our ground battles. So we have two training exercises at Thechon and Tanchon for our air-to-surface missile aircraft. Um, the reason I say that is because there are two tank battalions, the 22nd Tank Regiment and the 34th Tank Regiment, and these guys have no AA, and we have all of the ASM aircraft we need. So that's pretty much a turkey shoot in both of those battles. As for the John Chon sector, however, that's a lot different because the reason I sent those aircraft in there is because we want to try and cut off these four companies and regiments. But we are up against it, especially with 107th, 10th and 18th tank battalion. Yeah, that gets difficult. Let's have a look at it. I was very wary as to if I even wanted to play this in the last episode, but we'll work it out now. So, I think considering our location, we'll have to play it like we've done in other cam other campaigns, especially our Russian campaigns with a lot of airborne assaults, where we had all of our attack helicopters remain mobile with the supply and command, so we could choose where we want to wanted to attack and then resupply our units on the fly. So that's what I'm gonna be looking to do. We're gonna to have to capture one of these outside sectors in order to get reinforcements. But the biggest problem I think that we have is that they can spawn at Bravo. And that's a problem because they have man pads and 16 of them. They also have Ponge 3s. So the likelihood that helicopters are going to get out of Charlie is pretty slim. And considering all we're using is helicopters, that's not a very nice prospect. It really depends on the AI though, and whether or not they identify that. So, yeah, that's kind of awkward. The other thing that is annoying about this AA is it has 3 HE which usually I would say isn't a problem. But since we are on the NATO side of things, most of our aircraft only have six health. And that means they get shot down by two missiles, even if these guys are only 30% accurate. But I think the HM-5Bs are 50% accurate, yeah, so they're pretty strong against us. That's a problem. Do I want to play this battle? <laughs> Oh, it's going to be so difficult. There's going to be three phases, right? The first is going to be get the hell out of Charlie. Then it's going to be probably capture the Tashenyang sector. Then it's going to be win the battle. <laughs> oh, it sounds so much easier said than done. Oh, I didn't get raised with no balls. Let's do it. Let's just jump in. I've, I've, I've gone against worst odds, I think. I don't know. This is pretty crazy. This is this is pretty pretty crazy. It's high on the level of crazy right now. If they spawn with Pongays like here or like in the corner of the sector, I'm done for guys. I'm just done. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna bring in a HQ section. We'll delete this AH1 CP. I'll bring in all of the helicopters and the recon. We'll bring a recon. That's fine. It doesn't really matter what order we do this in. Because they're just all going to be clumped in the corner. The reason I'm clumping them in the corner here. 
because it seems to be the furthest away from Bravo. Like if we did it here, we could be shot from both sides. If we did it here, it's much closer. So this side seems logical. Let's just squeeze in the aircraft. Maybe not the best idea since it will only take like two Pongo shots to shoot that whole, whole lot down, but there we go. Uh, we've got to take the risk at this point. The Lynx H7 20 mils. Then we have enough points, I think, to bring in the Chinooks, so let's do that. Now these Chinooks actually, I think, have 10 strength. Maybe we could use them to sponge missiles. Not sure. I think, honestly, I'll need them to resupply more than I'll need them to sponge missiles, though. Let's launch the battle. Phase one. Get out of Charlie. Oh. Don't waste missiles. That is another one. They did have Pongays here. They did have Pongays there. But they weren't able to shoot me down. That is a good start. Good start indeed. <laughs> okay. Right, now we have to sort of swing around. Hopefully we can get towards the Tushenyang sector. This is a real long shot. But uh, object the first objective is complete. Get out of Charlie. Second objective, take Tushenyang. <laughs> oh, 40th commando. Don't let me down. Look at all these helicopters. One thing I might do actually is slow the speed down when we get close. Because managing all these helicopters is going to be really difficult. It's, it's really cool watching them fly down into the valley though. Look how much speed they picked up. It's nuts. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's take it into slow. And uh, turn on the weapons again. I might just have the Chinook sit back. Then we just got to get aggressive with the AH-1Ts and the 20 mils and stuff. So let's line up, get ready to go. Get the recon up in front. Link Street can help us out as well. Wow, there's two Pongays there. Alright, Link Street, you got work to do. As long as I can keep them in sight, we can kill those. My Lynx 3 has the Hellfire missiles in these to get the job done there. That's one down. Oh, killed the command for me. We'll just take it easy. Please kill that. Okay, thank God. Right. That's that done. We got multiple units coming towards us. Let's maybe get a AH-1 up here. Move up these OH-6s as well. On Link 3. Mash them to pieces. Oh, we do need to kill that last Ongay, don't we? I think we outranged them with AH-1Ts anyway, so that's fine. Stop these guys firing. We don't want them to like waste their ammunition. The reason I'm just doing it like one at a time at the moment is because we do the most damage that way. Oh, there's some man pads there. Hmm. OH-6 full back please. Bad, not bad. I am a bit worried about these. Turn on these weapons. I need to get into line of sight of this Ponge. 
Bit of a dodgy position at the moment. One thing I can do though, probably rocket these. Let's have all of these come forwards now. The AH1Ts are the only things that can easily deal with man pads. So. Oh, we got him. Oh, wow. Come on, AH1T. Oh, nice. Okay, I think there was one more squad there. Yeah, there was. Oh, no, we lost one. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Let's just go in hot with the AH720 mils. Alright, now we'll come back in with the AH1Ts. Maybe they ran out of ammunition, actually. I didn't think about that. This link's H1. That can go in for the landing, I think. Um, there is, of course, that man pad squad still here. But uh, hopefully we'll fly over it and kill it. Oh, I can't believe this is working. Okay. Um, to Shenyang. Hmm. Do I want to kill those? Probably not, actually. Because if we land... We'll, we'll capture it. I think as soon as we cap this though, they're all going to charge towards this. This is the second objective here. Go on, land that. Oh wow, we did capture it. Can we capture the other ones? Oh yeah, we got them all. Nice, okay. Right, what we're going to do is, I think, just bring in maybe some A to Gems to begin with. Got a couple of elite ones, so let's bring those in. They're not moving these tanks. Maybe I can get my H1T to just go pop those. So far we've used our A to Gems relatively efficiently. Gonna land these next to those cargoes and get some more supply that way. And maybe I can pick off these Chon Mars. Raw Marines in. Hmm. Two shots per, I think. Well, I think we're hitting... Oh no, that's a Chon Maho, isn't it? There is a T-90S there. So how many shots a Toe 2 takes to kill one? Oh, looks like he's attacking the second Chon Maho. It's fine. And so far so good. The AI has been a bit derp about it, but I'll take it. Slow and steady. Okay, that's all of those missiles used up. Where's my Lynx 3 actually? That may as well land with these Chinooks and get itself some Hellfire missiles. Good point actually, I may as well send that AH-1T back there. Use that com that supply up. Just gotta keep bringing in these Royal Marines. And I guess I can speed it up now since Nothing much is happening. It just helped me micro into this engagement. I guess I'm just kind of waiting for a big old spam to come across this bridge at some point. 
There's also this fob here that I might be able to capture. Give these back. Alright, Lynx 3 is ready to go. Nice. Maybe I should send one of these Lynx over here to try and capture that. I might send some Royal Marines over there as well. We'll land next to it, see if we can take control of it, because that would be really useful. These cargoes are all done. Okay. They're supply trucks, I think. Yeah, we captured it. Okay, good. Let's uh, bring over more Royal Marines. We'll keep that uh, covered. I may as well bring over these Chinooks. I might just have them at the back here. Uh, behind all this lot. Whoops. <laughs> Note to self, don't land in the line of sight of a T90. <laughs> My links got wrecked. Oh, here they come. Here they come. All right. This is it. This is the moment. Oh dear, so our attack caught them by surprise. They are now coming in hot. This is where we need to defend. Can the Lynx redo it? I might actually turn off these Hellfires because it's more likely that I'll need the Lynx to actually kill off the Pongays if they bring them in. Maybe bring in a couple more of these uh, Milans actually. I'm saying that probably better just go Royal Marines. It always comes down to the instrument and his rifle. Royal Marines, they are absolutely amazing because they have 20 round per minute rate of fire. Pretty insane. Go on, Malantes, pick off that T90. Oh, so close. Keep bringing them in. Nice, easy kill. Oh, another one there. Maybe bring over these eye toes as well. May as well use up their ammunition. Any Pongays yet? No, actually. Yeah, let's use these to take out the Chom Mars. Oh, never mind. Royal Marines doing the job. Inside armor, I think they just one shot those. <laughs> wow. quickly they fire their rockets that a reload time is just ridiculous. Right, 2,459 points to go. K 
can we do it? <laughs> it would be insane. I guess even if we draw, we're still in a good position, but next time they're going to come at us with like multiple more dudes. Hmm. Why is there cargoes here? Let's just try and land on those. Move those ones back, move those ones, for those ones forwards. It's fine. I haven't seen any Pong gauge yet, so... I'm not sure if I want to use my Lynx 3 or not. I feel like maybe I do. Against the tanks at least. Oh wait, they killed one of my cargoes I captured. A bit worried about the fact they have loads of Pachongsu coming our way. Might turn down the speed a bit here. Because they seem to be coming in with a lot of forces. I'm going to have to micro around these marines quite a lot. Especially in order to take out the Chongsi like that. I guess I could bring in the Lynx AH7s. If we're not seeing Pongays, like why not? So, we move those forwards. Might get the AH1Ts to go land. Make sure they're out of line of sight of anything though. Get this OH6 to come over here somewhere. The H1T still has like all its ammunition. Thousand one hundred to go. Five minutes left on the clock. Oh, that's smoke. Let's use that. Pop. It's nice. One H one T. Damn his boss. There's another tank on the bridge there. Just looking for pongays amongst these guys. As long as there's no Pongays, we're pretty much safe to use our helicopters as much as we want. I think any Lynxes that have used up their rockets will send to the corner of the map. Because I don't want to use up the FOB reloading those. I'm going to try and unload these Lynx H7s actually pretty close. Oh, that's one down. <laughs> Hopefully these are aiming at the different ones. Oh, two side shots. Boom, boom. 1,500 points to go. This is definitely very tight. I would very much like to win this battle if I can. But I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. Maybe I could get a recon helicopter to come with me with a Lynx and we'll go pop some commands. 
But that's not going to make up 1,500 points very quickly, I'll tell you that much. We have at least two commands. Well, they also have some stuff here. What is that? That's some infantry. I might get these Lynx AH1Ts to go a bit more aggressive. There's this OH6. Three minutes left. I guess one thing at least is um, yeah, we'll have a good starting position going into the next battle. Don't think we're going to get the 1,400 points in two minutes though. Unless they come at me with like 10 Chon Mars or something like that. I'll probably need even more than that. You'd need like 15 Chon Mars. <laughs> A lot of cargo trucks there. Just a load of crappy units. They're not worth anything. Oh my god. That is a lot of units. Ammo box hit on the... On the Hellfire missiles there isn't good. I needed those. Uh, that's, that's our prospects gone I think. The amount of forces they had there was insane. Oh, AH1T, can you pop this T90 for me? That would be a nice kill. I would come in with more Royal Marines, but... Yeah, there's no point at this point. Really? Why are you stopping for the MI8T? Oh, it's going to waste it on the BTR-40s now as well, isn't it? It's just sad. Go on, last shot. Redeem yourself, AH1T. South Koreans. Can they do it? Yes, they can. What a hero. <laughs> it's the small victories. Oh my. We, I don't know what we've done, but I feel like we've stirred the hornet or disturbed the hornet's nest. There is a lot of forces coming towards us right now. One minute left on the clock. Maybe we can do it. <laughs> it depends how quickly they come at us and if they come directly at us because straight into the face of these Royal Marines. Those Royal Marines can do a lot of damage. The 40th Commando has completed two out of three objectives. It looks like we're going to draw the battle, not win it. Can't really ask much more of them than that. Let's just speed it up. Pretty much game over. And if they're not going to bring anything else back towards us, I'm perfectly okay with that. They are swarming though. Look at all of those units. Crazy, crazy battle. <laughs> the fact we actually pulled that off was just insane. <laughs> oh, wow. H1Ts doing loads of work. Raw Marines coming in strong. 40th Commando, certainly living up to their name. That was crazy. We lost Lynx AH7s to Chon Mars and T90s. We lost one AH1T to a HN5B. Did we kill all the Pongaves in the end? No, we only killed two of them. Um, 
we killed seven of them man pads. They've got seven left. Going into the next battle, we will hold the, the Tishenyang sector. So that'll be really good. Okay. That is that. Next turn, John Chon is going to be <laughs> a real hard battle again. I reckon we can make it work, though. Unfortunately, though, that has been my time. So, yeah, next episode is going to be the uh, sort of battles at Thechon and Tanchon. We'll move on to the next turn, probably do the naval sector battle as well. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.